Hey everyone. In this video, I want to go over word embeddings within ML.NET. But before we get into the coding on how to do it within ML.NET, let's talk a little bit about what word embeddings are. A word embedding is simply a word that's been translated into a vector representation of that word. And this vector representation of words, the word embeddings, are important for deep learning and natural language processing since the word is now represented by numbers instead of text, since the numbers are what the neural network expects instead of that text. And the main application is to see how words are similar. For example, say we have a word embedding and it gives us this plot of the words. We can see the words at the bottom, dog, cat, and goldfish, represent pets so they are clustered together, whereas clean and tidy aren't close to the pets, but they are in their own cluster. Go back to Visual Studio here and see how to do this in ML.NET. Of course, first thing is we need to install ML.NET. Using version 1.4 here. All right, and first things first, we need to create our new ML context. And using word embeddings within ML.NET, it's going to use a pre-trained word embeddings model. And so we don't need to give it any data. We can just pass in some empty data. And we can do context.data, load from it innumerable. And I'm going to load in a new list text input. And let's go ahead and create this input class here. It's just going to have a property string, and it's going to, call, going to be called text. So we have our empty data. Now let's create it, our embedding pipeline. And the first thing we need to do in the transforms at text is to normalize our text. And we'll give the output column of text. And since we don't have any input columns that we need to give it, I'll just say null for our input column name. And if you recall from our normalized text video, there's a few properties that we can do. Uh, I can say keep diacritics is false. I'll say keep numbers as false as well as keep punctuations as false. Next, I'm going to append another transform. And that's going to be to tokenize into words. So we normalize our text first and then we tokenize that text into a single word there. Output column into tokens, input column into text because we call this output column as text. So we're just going to use that. And I do another append. This time it's going to be context that transforms text. This is where I apply word embedding. Output column, I'll do features. Input column is going to be tokens. And our third parameter here is the model kind. This is where we tell what kind of pre-trained model that we want to use within our word embeddings. You see we comes in with a quite a few glove is the most common one here and the the number with the D that tells you how many dimensions it has been trained on. So the higher the number, the higher dimensions the model has been trained on. I'll just use the sentiment specific word embedding here. And we'll get our embedding transformer by calling our pipeline dot fits on our empty data. Next, I'll create a prediction engine with context model, create prediction engine, use that text input, and I need to create a text features output schema. But I'll go ahead and pass in the embedding transformer or the model that we got from our pipeline. So I'll create this file, and that's just going to have a single property a float array is going to be called features. So we have our prediction engine. Let's predate on a, on a couple of things here. First, let's do a new text input. We give it a text of, let's say, dog. And we get the prediction from it using the prediction engine that predict on that new data. And what we can do is write out to the console First, we do the number of features, and that's going to be 
the prediction, the features, that length. And next we'll print out the actual features, which is going to be the vector of the embedding for, for that single word. To do that, we do a for each. So for each feature and prediction that features. Remember these are floats, so we're going to get numbers here. Do console.write and I do just do feature. Add a space there. You know what? Let's do another one. So I do a console.write line environment that new line to kind of space it out, make it easier to read our output here. So do another data, uh, another data item, the new text input, have our text equal cat. Get our prediction from that using the prediction engine, predict. And from there, we can kind of do the same thing here. So I'll just copy this. And instead of the first prediction, we'll just use that second one. All right, so let's run this and let's look at what we have here. There we go. So for each word, we have our embedding here or our word vector that the pre-trained model gave us. And we can kind of look here, some of these items individually, each of the vector items, they're a little bit similar, but not too much. So they might be, they might be in the same cluster if we plotted them, but that's how you can get the word embeddings within your ML.NET model. And you can use this vector within your further model to make predictions and all that. So I'll end things there. Hope you enjoy the video and thanks for watching.